non ci credo, ma la signorina del Lutonaro può. Sì, dice sempre nice here in it. Ma qui ha l'opera? Signori, un campari soda, per favore. Eh, we got campari in Luton, you know. This is coarse and vulgar. It's coarse and vulgar trying to eat this shit. We haven't had any complaints from any other customers. I cause they're all gutless bastards these days. I call a spade a spade and I call a pie like this a smelly old <laughs> of shit. Oh I? Well let me tell you, when I were fighting in war at Austrian succession, if they'd have served us food like this, we'd have never bloody won it. And where would we be then? Look, if you think wheeling out another one of your tedious anecdotes about serving in historical conflicts is going to get you your money back, you are sorely mistaken. For one thing, you may not have eaten a morsel of it, but you poked and prodded it with your fork and your fingers. So therefore, I cannot give you your money back, as I will not be able to resell the pie to another customer. So kindly stop complaining and get out of my pub. Your pie's disgusting, so you're going to kick out an old soldier, are you? The local papers will love that five pence six pence eight pence ten pence hey fuck off it we're half a fucking crown that in case you've forgotten this country recently converted to a decimal currency I shove your new pence up your ass hey that was a bit out of order don't you think so betty you've still got your pie sure. Ormai, you catch an actual. Anyone know how Luton is doing? Henry! Henry! What's the matter? You're not feeling well? I'm all right. I'm not hungry, that's all. How are you going to live if you don't eat? Well, I guess I'm a little unsettled. The well, guy's got to get used to working nights. You should have kept on as a reporter. We're good at that. I'll be all right. Just one second, I'm ready to sleep in the daytime. You ought to see a doctor. Look at Henry. You're looking pretty bad. I'm all right, Bill. Well, as a matter of fact, I don't remember much about what happened last night. I was feeling pretty terrible. I handled a lot of routine stuff. And at 5.30 I heard the explosions. Four great explosions. Who is it? downstairs. He said you go local. You go away. Because of what people say. He thinks you're a man. Hello, Henry. Is it time money for tomorrow? Why are you? You. Me. All of us. We're looking for miracles some signs from the sky. We all want to believe they're better than they seem. Okay. The biggest shareholder on the stock market is small and afraid before the enormity of chance. And it's over. The stock market. A dust cloud that rises eight miles high. That covers 400 square miles. That covers all men with a dread of some ultimate calamity. Tears, prophecies, a consolation for the extra buck. No. There's 
no short or easy answer. We simply men. The end product of a staggering infinity of possibilities. We can blow ourselves to kingdom come. Or we can receive weird, incredible visions. We carry the wonder of ourselves in us. So we carry our own mortality. This mind, stumbling instrument, is a man. Don't you understand? I didn't do anything, something happened to me. I'm not a god, and I'm going to stop being your carnival freak. I'm telling you, she'll not take this lying down. She'll hang such a one on in a shop. I think you're mistaken, love, and I hope so, anyhow, because I don't feel that much excitement today. Uh, how would you like to be chucked out of your own house, eh? You wouldn't thank Inner Sharples for the privilege, would you? Stands to reason, don't it? Eh? Jack! Uh, what is it? Mrs. Sharples is going into number 11 now. I told you blood was going to be spilled, didn't I, eh? Morning. Hey, Mrs. Walker, Stan says he's going to get a milk round. Eh? What, between the shafts? Pulling Burt Lodge's wagon? <laughs> Walker. Hey, keep quiet, Mrs. Ogden. Annie's watching for Apache smoke signals from number 11. And war drums. Oh, and buckets and just about everything you can get your hands on. Carefully does it, because you never know when he's going to 